he claimed that deliberate attempts were made to defame Ahmed. Hendricks said the so-called A9.5 billion deal has yet to be finalized, making it unacceptable for Ahmed to receive criticism. At Daily Maverick a man with a past, the joburgers, should be grateful they have me, according to New Transportation MMC Kenny Kunena Hendricks specifically selected SABC News reporter Sakina Kamwendo, who she claimed was trying to make Ahmed look clumsy, a claim labeled irrational by Saps Mashushu Mona. In an interview with Saps Morning Live program presented by Kamwendo, Ahmed said that he attended meeting last week and secured the possibility of obtaining a 9.5 billion rupee loan to improve service delivery and build smart city. Since then, there has been a backlash against his statement, with Dada Marrero, the city's finance MMC, stating that he had no knowledge of the deal. Hendricks claimed that a Sikina and influencer who complained about the pits were determined that she failed to succeed in the position. Meshushu Mona, group director of news and current affairs at the public broadcaster, responded to Hendricks' unbelievable allegations. Such preposterous allusions are made to every journalist who studies the powerful. Sakina is doing her duty as a journalist to hold the powerful to account. Explaining Ahmed's remarks, Hendricks said, quite many investors have approached management offering financial aid and short-term loans. One of those offers was a 9 billion to help the city. He was talking about just that. But obviously the person in charge of finance was not involved in the discussions. However, no credits, just some offers coming in, Hendricks said. At the Daily Maverick after the bell the new Joburg Council is going crazy on Monday, Patriotic Alliance leader Gaten McKenzie took to social media to voice his disappointment at Ahmed. PA is one of the parties that partnered with the ANC and EFF to dismiss DAs for fallots, and then voted Ahmed to lead Joburg. Responding to a video of Ahmed's interview with SABC, McKenzie said, This is really embarrassing, what is the mayor saying? What credit? Where and when was this discussed? Which company is giving this credit? We can't keep advocating such stupidity, we don't have our share in this mess. We must put the citizens of Joburg first and acknowledge that we are backing the wrong horse. It not only hurts Joburg, it destroys him too.